So, and that's exactly what we're going to have to do in this matchup. And that's probably what Sexy Ups is going to force you to do. <laughs> As Sonic. Yep, that's kind of what he's going to force you to do. But like you were saying, ZD, I feel like if any Luigi is going to make that adaptation, it's going to be possibly him today. And we're getting into this game one, 6WX versus ZD, already 47% deep, and ZD cannot just land. Yeah. Like, I was talking about bad airspeed with ZDD, but uh, Luigi's airspeed also isn't the greatest, and also his fall speed is not particularly amazing, too. So, in situations like we saw just before, he's very easy to juggle, especially when we have a big invincible option like that uh, spin dash. But right now, ZD has actually hauled it back all the way, only 6% uh, separates with those two. I'm trying to go Ooh. with that Troy. You thought he had enough time, but... And going for it cost enough stock. And 60 barracks only 64%. Not what you want to be at. But if I can say, I respect the option to go for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it had worked, that would have paid massive dis dividends out here. Like, psychologically, too. Yeah. Like. Yeah, ZD, is, I play that practice with a lot. He always says, or he said for a while, I think up B kind of carries me sometimes, but he is the best Luigi I've seen at landing those up Bs. Mm. Yeah. And he's, honestly, at this rate, he's going to need one because he's already getting lapped, or not really lapped, but like, Getting that extra credit on him, 40%, especially against the Sonic. It's already hard enough being a stock behind him, but then, like, even if he gets a stock, he still has to play from behind. That's still hard to do against Sonic. Okay, good jab pressure. And Luigi really, only kills he can get from now is the smash attacks and, or back air off stage. Maybe oh. even a Gimp, because he can Gimp Sonic pretty easily with uh, the Tornado. I mean, he kind of can, but also the up is invincible for a good duration of it. It's kind of tricky and risky to go for it, but honestly, at this percent, you might need to go for it just because you're so far behind. If you don't risk anything, you might just end up losing either way. Alright, I feel like he's going to be fishing for this grab, maybe some sort of throw. Six WX, so smart with this conditioning in the neutral. Yeah, but that was a good recovery by ZD. Just going low, retaining that jump. Patient. Did that back throw at the ledge? Oh no, this, yeah. This could be a bad situation. Go for that spring, but ZD, so many good recovery options right there. If his um, kill options could be as strong as his recovery, he could have maybe gotten a little bit more going, but seeing the weakness of Luigi right there, that spring. Great, great option coverage by 6WX going into this game, too. Another thing I feel like a lot of people, like you'll see Falcons do it all the time. They're like, the matchup isn't bad. They'll get common or death, but as soon as they get Luigi off stage, his predictable recovery is really another one of his downfalls. Yeah, like you have to be very, very creative in his recovery, which, like, yeah, ZD was doing for Boss quite a while a, there. Boss is a very good example of being creative with your recovery. Mm. He'll save his jump for the longest time, too. It's crazy. Um, yeah, I'm expecting a character switch because. I'm expecting it. Oh, oh, the character loyalty. Let's go. My boy ZD. But honestly, on his counter pick, I feel like he could get something going. But the thing about, um, like, have, or playing a character that you kind of lost faith in them a little bit is that to actually win and do well, you need to have complete faith in your character. It yeah. doesn't matter if it's, like, the best or the worst character in the game. You need to believe, not, like, all the time, but you need to believe for six minutes at a time that this character you're playing right now is strong. This character you're playing right now has the tools to make it all the way back. And ZD is playing a lot more confident this time. He's challenging a lot more landings, and yeah, he's actually he actually has a lead. Aggressive, which I like. He's yeah. not giving him any space, you know. Camp him out again. He's being straight. He's getting really good punishes as well. And converting on these platforms, like you said earlier. Yeah, to be honest, um, I feel like he was playing too smart before. But in this matchup, it is kill or be killed. You gotta go stupid hard sometimes. And he's mixing it up with that smart play style that we saw last time. And the, you know, crazy aggression. I'ma land with Nair and not care what button you're gonna press. But, oh no, but you cannot do that. You yeah, can't you see, do that. I never, I never understood that. We can see this man charging a forward smash or ZSS with a down smash. And they're like, oh. So do it. I'm a neutral get up. But then again, a lot of people think they're gonna time it right. Yeah, yeah, that's the hard part. Cause for, uh, science force match is actually more active than it looks, and that could be a pretty hard position to get around if you aren't prepared for how active it is. Yeah, but 6WX is getting all the momentum. ZD cannot just get it going right now. He already has almost been lapped yet again. We've seen the situation before, but on this counter pick, this has to be kind of a big like letdown at the moment. But you just need. One good kill, maybe one up B, and then one good combo, and we could have a good position yet again. Luigi can still make those comebacks.
Yeah, but Six W actually knows that too. He's playing too safe for anything to really, you know, happen right now. Oh, okay. That would have given him. That would have been something he really needed. Yeah, that would be huge. Especially like sub 100. Now he's above 100, and even if he gets a stock, it'll be it'll be tough. It'll be tough. Especially with the crowd against you. Oh man. Right. He's been react. Six W has been reacting so well to these oh, landings. Oh, I don't think he had his jump, and that's it. 6WX taking it with a solid, convincing, I'm running out of adjectives, 2-0 over my, over my boy ZD. Yeah, but next time, next time. Definitely. Yeah, my boy ZD is too good to, you know, take a licking like that and just 